The Northeast Ohio Dukes present an action-packed show full of car chases, explosions, and stunts. We'll have the details on that and more in our After Hours report. After Hours is sponsored by the Timberlanes Complex. This Saturday, head to the Trumbull County Fairgrounds for the Hazard County Stunt Show. It looks like those Northeast Ohio Duke boys are at it again. My friends all know me as Raymond Kahn is owner of the Northeast Ohio Dukes and stunt driver of the General Lee. We've had 15 General Lees and we've done 22 jumps. The Northeast Ohio Dukes, this is our 11th year. We got started in 2007. I jumped the General Lee for the first time at Yankee Lake Truck Night. And I thought I was gonna do it one time and one time only. After I did that once and it was successful, uh, they asked me to do it again and then again. Saturday's event kicks off with the Cruising with the Dukes car show from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sonny Schroyer, Enos from the Dukes of Hazard, will be at the uh, the car show and he'll be watching our stunt show. You numbskull! Is there something wrong? Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Registration for the car show begins at 9 a.m. The cost to enter is $25 and includes a ticket to the Hazard County Stunt Show starting at 6 p.m. Our stunt show is actually like watching a live version of the Dukes of Hazard, you know, right there in front of your face. And it's about two hours long, so uh, it's going to be action packed. We got a lot of stunts, explosions, fight scenes, drama scenes, chasing, you know, comedy in it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's like a play, but now we got cars involved with crash and wreck and stuff like that. It's a very fun show. It's a definitely an honor show you don't want to miss. Mikey Tremblay is the Sheriff Little stunt driver for the show. I was um, a daredevil myself since I was a little kid. And I, uh, I did dumb looking derby for quite a few years. Then I started doing my own stunts. Then I got a phone call from my buddy Raymond Kahn to join on the crew and that's how I got to where I'm at. Tremblay was born with a hearing disability. This year, he's helping the deaf community enjoy the show to its fullest. We had a few deaf people that came to our show in the past, but they don't get the funny part of the whole the actors because they don't understand, they don't get to hear what the actors are saying. So this year, I decided to bring in an interpreter to help the deaf community out that way they come. And we got quite a few of them coming, so we're hoping it'll be pretty good. We are gonna box off a little section in the grandstand just for them. In between there, uh, we are doing rides and pitchers around the track in the General Lee. Uh, we'll have a couple of General Lees going. Uh, also, uh, uh, we will have a screen use from the TV show, Night Rider Car, that was just uh, featured on Jay Leno's Garage. We'll have the first two Roscoe police cars that were ever used on the Dukes of Hazard. We will have a real General Lee on board with us too. Uh, we have a Dave's Dukes of Hazard mobile museum. It's like a, a big trailer with all kinds of rare Dukes of Hazard toys and stuff like that. Admission is $15 for adults and $10 for seniors, veterans, and children ages 5 to 10. The way I'm seeing this, our show is probably one of the greatest shows on earth right now. I give credit to everybody on the crew because it takes the whole crew to make it work. Sometimes somebody has to pick up a little bit of slack, you know, to fill it in, but it takes the whole crew to make it work. We are crazy and insane about the Dukes of Hazard, and there's not a feeling, I mean, I'll tell you right now that I, I'm, I'm dreading jumping this car. I'm scared to death, you know, and while they're putting me in the car, I'm going to be like, guys, you got me into this again. Why? Next time I'm just going to say no. But as soon as I land the car, I'm like, I can't wait to do it again. Why? Because we love the Dukes of Hazard. Now here's the rest of your weekend rundown. This Friday from 6 to 9 p.m., check out the Newcastle Summer Concert Series at the Riverwalk Amphitheater in downtown Newcastle. This weekend's concert features a back-to-school bash with free school supplies while they last, live music by the Matrix Band, and a pet parade. Check out the Sunrise Inn Car Show this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Sunrise Inn Restaurant in Warren. Registration for cars, trucks, and bikes is $10 and begins at 10 a.m. All proceeds will benefit the Travis Mills Foundation. 
River Rock at the Amp returns to the Warren Community Amphitheater this Saturday featuring Tom Petty tribute band King's Highway. The show includes opening acts Invincible and Dead Flowers. Gates open at 5 p.m. and admission is $8. You can find out more information at riverrockattheamp.com. J.D. Summer Song Fest takes place this Saturday from 3.30 to 10.30 p.m. at the Soap Gallery in Youngstown. This family-friendly event will feature performances by Ken Block and Drew Copeland, Steve Everett, The Vindies, The Lobber Brothers, and of course, J.D. Iker. This year's event benefits the Boys and Girls Club of Youngstown. Tickets are $8 in advance and $12 at the gate. To get yours early, visit universe.com slash JDE Songfest. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young.